meeting of the summer. At 6.30 p.m. Uh, first order of business will be to approve the minutes of September 18th. I have a motion to approve the minutes of September 18th. Second. We have a motion made and seconded to approve the minutes of September 18th. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Yep. All right. Um, you had mentioned Fred wanted to come in. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll wait and see if he shows up. Okay. We can fit in when he comes in. Um, in that case, we will move to new business. One day liquor license for Delta Sand and Gravel. Yes. Um, we have Mr. Yes. Warner on the Zoom uh, requested uh, a one day liquor license for the company picnic at the town park on October 29th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Is that right, Greg? That is correct. Right. Any discussion? All right. Not hearing any discussion, I would entertain a motion to approve a one day liquor license. Motion to approve one day liquor license to the town park on the 29th. Second. All right. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? All right. Three right. nothing. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Have a good one. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. All right. <laughs> All righty. All right. Uh, next up is uh, under new business is discuss and award the Sutherland Elementary School oil tank contract. Thank you for joining us, Gary. No um, you would like to get up to speed on where we are on that? Sure. So the um, procurement bidding went out, um, and there were two uh, responses. One was close to um, the estimate of probable cost about. I think ten thousand dollars above. Um, we had estimated one ninety five, and it came in at two oh five. I think um, we had the engineers from Tie and Bond reviewed both submissions. Um, didn't have any concerns uh, with with the low bidder, um, but obviously it was more than we had allocated. We still have. Uh, about $150,000, I think, one hundred and seventy in uh, ARPA funds remaining. So, so, oh, sorry. so what was approved before an even one ninety five? So there were three things that were approved. There was $10,000 for the initial study. Mm -hmm. There was $30,000 for the design and one ninety five to actually do the project. Okay. Um, the previous money has been spent. The 195, the actual bid came in at 205. 205, 700. Yeah. Okay. No, I just didn't know if there was, Yeah. you know, if it was an even 195 or if it was. 195 with some legal. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You know, no, just so just... when we start making motions for how much more, we have an exact amount here. So our shortfall is 10,700, is that correct? And there's no shortfall or overages on the other amounts, the ten thousand and the thirty thousand. No, those are already paid for. Yeah. Did, but the, the the questions tonight is one: the select board is going to award the bid or not, and then two: who's going to sign off on any change orders moving forward if there is any, and also note that there could be possible change orders moving forward because they're going to dig up an oil tank, and if there's any kind of Spillage would be additional costs, and so let me sure it's all transparent as we get into this. Was there anything in the bid that covered uh, covered kind of the uh, the thought that maybe you'd find something, or is it all going to be price? It's going to be price after the fact. There's some soil removal, but. Yeah. It's not, there's, 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 well, we hope there's no spillage. There's no sure. reason for us to believe there's spillage because we did, you know, while it failed one of the tests, it did not fail the pressure test, which would show a leak. Yeah. So I'm just trying to point out that yeah. if, you know, if you were the bid, you know, again, the, the low bid is 205, 700. Um, if you award that, there's still a possibility we'll be coming back for more in the sense of a change order. 
um, that case. I just want to make sure that we're clear on that because we don't know what we get when we put the ground. Sure. Hopefully, it's nothing. Sure. It is a straightforward process. I don't think there's going to be any change orders in you know piping. It's a straight line right to the building, straight you know right to the other side of the wall, so to speak. So I don't expect. It's not complicated where you're going to run into different things. The one thing we can run into is if there's contaminants that will be removed. Okay. Um, so you need us to uh, 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 award the the contract, decide who's going to handle the administration of it, and then also I would assume you would we would need to approve additional funding to make the the difference. Yep. Okay. Um, do you want that in multiple motions, or can we just do can we decide them all and do one big motion? Um, I think. Separate motions would be best. Um, one to award the contract, one to appropriate the ARPA funds, and then my suggestion as far as the change orders would be similar to the um, early ed playground where you all would take a first, the school would take a first look at it and say yes we recommend or no we don't recommend and then we would sign off on it. Okay. Um, all right, so let's let's start with the awarding. Wait, one more question: Sorry. If you guys are digging, if you like are in the middle of it, wouldn't you want to be able to approve? I mean, I'm a little worried. If, if you're right there, you want you want to approve it then. You don't want to wait a week. Or, you know what I mean? If the guys, I don't know, just thinking out loud. <laughs> right. I mean, the question is who gets the authority to sign off on that. So I think. It should be Jeff. Yeah. And only say it should be Jeff because you're awarding the bid and he's the extension of you. If I become I'm, that person, I'm not the extension. I'm just talking about the extra. If we need yeah. the, I'm talking about if, if you need that, do we need that? Should we think the about that? The change over I mean, if, it, if it's money, I can't do anything right. about right, that. Right, right, so. right, right. And honestly, I'd, I'd want to hear about it before, before that gets approved, anyways. Okay. If it was, if it was money. And, and my understanding is that um, they're going to put in a temporary oil tank, so it's not like if it takes a little bit longer, it's there's a worry long. that that um, the whole school would freeze or something like that. Okay, right. okay, that's good. Okay, thank okay. you. Um, let's start with the awarding of the contract. All right, I will entertain a motion to award the contract to the low bidder. Motion. Okay. Yeah. So no. moved. Yeah. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded to award the uh, contract to the low bidder. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. All right, and then uh, I would entertain a motion to make Jeff the administrator of this project. So moved. Is that how you want it worded, Jeff, the administrator <laughs> of the project? There no. Um, sign sign off on changes. Uh, I think that's. Yeah, I think it's the change order. Okay, so I would I would entertain a motion to give Jeff the approval to sign off on change orders on the behalf of the select board. Okay. So moved. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. All right. Um, and finally, do we want to discuss ARPA money, the ten, the uh, sorry, ten thousand seven hundred, or do we want to just make a motion and move? Can I ask? Is there another number that the school would prefer, like eleven thousand? So you at least have. A, I mean, not the three hundred dollars <laughs> is much wiggle room, but. I mean, I mean, that's his cost. So, you know, if it goes above that, that'd be a change order that would be approved. You know, the only thing I guess they could do, they <laughs> is yeah. they could give you a change order up to a certain amount, so you don't have right. to go back. But again, not knowing, it's one thing if you were building something and you yeah. say, oh, "We have a change order for ten thousand dollars." I have no idea. You know, if there's soil contamination, it's a little or a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. If, and it might be. It might be worthy of a stop and have a conversation because it'll be a serious thing. But Peter, you're saying when we were building the new library, not the new, not so new anymore, but um, the building committee had uh, to deal with a lot of change orders, a lot of proposals for change orders, some of which we approved, some we didn't. But there was never a case uh, where we had, uh, and we had weekly meetings on it. It was never a case where they came in and said, you know, there's a, we need a change order for this, and you've got to decide this today. Yeah. Okay. It was at the very, it was the very least there was a week, and that was only once or twice. And usually it was, you know, you got to, it's sort of like you got a week to think about it, and then you really ought to decide because if you wait two weeks, it's going to, the building's still going up, and space is going to tighten up, and you can't do it. But I think that 
I can't imagine you being in a case where they, you know, so they call up Jeff and say, hey, we've got to have it approved in the next 30 minutes or, you know. <laughs> yeah. 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 And if it was that much of an emergency, we'd probably be getting called as the emergency preparedness committee for the town. <laughs> if there was a, such a huge leak yeah. that it was an environmental disaster and we needed to call FEMA or something like that, that would be a whole different situation anyways. Sure. Um, all right, so I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with, with it, it, it. It's a straightforward project. We have a bid. If there's going to be a big change to it, it's going to be because of something unforeseen that I'd rather have us discuss anyways. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. let's do that. Okay. Um, do we want to just do the ten seven then? Okay. So I would entertain a motion to appropriate ten thousand dollars seven hundred for uh, the oil tank. So I motion that we appropriate ten thousand seven hundred dollars in additional ARPA funds towards the oil tank project for the elementary school. Second. All right. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Thank you. All righty. Anything else you need us for, Darius? Or is that it? I got nothing else. You guys have any questions tomorrow? Only two. Alright. We'll keep you posted. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you very much, both of you. Thank you. Is it still basically a year for the turnaround for the tank? No. No. They should be able to, you know, once we award this, we'll see what the timeline is. But they can you put it in over the winter if they had to as well. They were doing a temporary tank and then, you know, I think they may be able to, I don't know what the timeline is, but. We have it being completed by March okay. of this year. Of this year, or well, twenty twenty. This fiscal year, yeah. but in the sense of that's where we within the contract within the bid that's the deadline. So there's there's some deadlines within it, but the final the final one I don't forget the exact date. I forget the exact date, but sometime in March. So okay. it'll happen relatively soon. Okay, great. Good. Okay. Great. All right. Um, that's all the new business we have on here. Let's move on to old business. Um, next up is the room rental policy. Do you want to? Oh, okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you very much for coming. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm Fred Laurinaitis. This is Christina Jones. We're water commissioners in the community. Um, our third commissioner, Mike Washington, has had a prior engagement, so he wouldn't be here tonight. Um, we came this evening to just make you aware we had a, um, a conference of water operators recently and um, we submitted a sample of their drinking of our drinking water for a contest that they have annually and we were awarded the first place for the drinking water for Sunderland. Excellent. And, uh, <laughs> Good job, Fred. Yeah. That's awesome. That's huge. Having uh, been awarded the first place, we would were um, invited to Washington, D.C. in February for the national taste test to represent Massachusetts. That's great. That's an honor. Wow. Yeah, so we wanted the board to be aware of that and the community to be aware of that. That's excellent. How many of you are planning on going? <laughs> How many of us? We haven't made that decision yet. <laughs> well, I didn't know if all three of you were planning on going or no, just one of you. No, we haven't made that decision yeah. yet. Um, yeah, so we thought uh, we've always thought the drinking water in Sunderland was of good quality and these were independent taste testers so they kind of confirmed that for us. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. It is. It's great. Downstairs. You're looking for the historical commission? Um, planning board. Not meeting tonight. It's not meeting. They told me it was tonight. There's no planning board. There's a historical commission meeting. You're right. I'm sorry. The historical. Okay. Yeah, they're downstairs. <laughs> they're downstairs. They're downstairs. Yep. Downstairs. Okay. I just want to add, we've got a small system that's been taken good care of. Our water tastes great, and our rates are low. And sometimes low rates mean that there's actually you know that the system's not being taken care of. But not 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 in this case. We just have low overhead and low infrastructure costs. And we're lucky enough to have um, a waiver so that we don't have to add chemicals. So we have a really unique system. Um, and then and having that waiver and not having to add chemical means that we have to continue to take good care of it. It really go, uh, really shows that the, 
the, the district has been very diligent over the years in taking care of the system. So we'll continue to do that, and we're really proud of the system we have. Excellent. You should be proud of it. It is wonderful drinking water. <laughs> One of the things I loved about moving into town was the drinking water. Oh, it's um, nice not buying bottled water. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up in Shutesbury and had well water on top of a mountain. You can't, can't get much more clear than that. Um, and so I was very picky coming down into the valley and yeah. the water here is just amazing. So yeah. thank you for all the work you guys do on that. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Congratulations. Yeah, Thanks, sir. Alrighty, uh, room rental policy. Yeah, I don't know. We were just keeping it on the agenda. Um, we discussed a little bit last week um, about not making major changes, um, but taking the policy down and not renting rooms until we had amended or reaffirmed the policy. Mm -hmm. So currently there are no rooms for rent. Um, the only things that we had talked about last week were just updating the name of this board or to select board um, and then changing the fee, I think was the other one. Um, our fee is currently $25 and a $75 deposit and um, I think most communities had about a $50 fee for rooms of similar size in a Two hundred and fifty to three hundred dollar, yeah, um, <coughs> deposit cost. That cover we cover key cleaning, anything else. Okay. So, um, and there's no, so that fifty dollar rental, the the sorry, sorry. straightforward cleaning is built into that. There's yes. not a separate cleaning fee. Correct. And then the deposit is just for any damage, additional cleaning, right, key, and, et cetera, yep. key loss. Do we want to um, amend the policy to move from twenty-five to fifty for the fee? And what do you what what do you guys feel comfortable for the deposit? We could do two fifty. That's what the Selico other towns are in that ballpark. Yeah, I mean it's a it's not unreasonable. It's a deposit, so you hopefully get most of it back, right? Unless you do a mass all that. So, uh, before we, do we have to make a decision on what we do, if we do rent the room out, what do we do with these, the equipment and with the equipment and stuff? Um, you don't have to, that, that doesn't have to be part of the policy, you can, you know, Oh no, I know it doesn't have to oh. be part of the policy, it's just. Something we have to think about, yeah. It's something we need to think about because if we stop and think of the big picture, Damage to either of these is well above your two hundred and fifty dollar deposit. Yep. Asking for more than a two hundred and fifty dollar deposit is probably not reasonable. Mm. But do we need something, some type of, and again, some type of. I don't know. I mean, they probably don't have insurance or anything, the people renting, the, depending on who it is that's renting it, right? I, I think they're supposed to, and they're supposed to name us, I believe. Okay. Is it built, is it built there? Um, Cindy's raising her hand. Oh, so. yeah. Just a thought. Do you want to have or consider having different... Um, Deposits. If what if someone wants to use the equipment, or is that not available? Just thinking that might might come up at some point. Mm -hmm. And also to have a deposit and the key cost or the room rental cost to be separate checks, so that usually I hold the deposit check until after an event, regardless if it was a room or something else, and then I can return that rather than deposit and then issue um, a payment back. But I'm more thinking, do you want to have different protocols or put in there totally that the equipment is not part of the rental? I mean, it's a room rental policy. I don't, I think that the room is the key here, not the equipment. I would not, I would feel better not 
having the equipment be part of it, mostly just because you know if someone doesn't work and someone decides to go around and start fiddling with the wires to try to make it work, then next time we have a meeting, we come in here and we spend well, an hour and, trying to figure and out. And how I'm it's more broken. concerned with them having to use the computer, things like yeah. that, any type of virus or malware, whatever, becomes yeah. a nightmare, right, to deal with. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I, I would, I would feel better having the technology just be not part of the situation, and, and that's not the point. The point of the policy, the point of the policy is making a large room that people can fit in. If they want to bring in a know, PowerPoint, and yeah, they can bring their own bring a screen or whatever. Or wall, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. We have a projector screen. If they yeah. want to yeah. hook it up, they can do that. Um, so I would say let's just keep the equipment out of the the policy in general. So if they if they have to hold insurance, if that is one of our requirements that they have insurance that names the town, um, do we know if the, that kind of insurance policy would cover damage to these screens? I am almost positive it would, and I thought I thought it was. Not one of the suggestions. No, like this is this is the, this is the existing, right? This is the existing. This is completely yeah. the existing. Yeah. Um, requiring proof. Of, yeah. So somewhere, <laughs> it says that the select board may require. Proof of insurance naming Sunderland as an additional insured, and we may want to require that or not if we think that there are going to be some com some groups without insurance that we want to no, are we, access that. Does this policy have there be an approval process, or does this policy mean that anybody who did, comes and pays the fee can have it? Because it could be a case by case thing where you know if it's the the you know um, the PTO wanting to have a meeting we have, we have different you know comfort comfort level there than like a you know outside company that we don't know or outside group of people that we aren't aware of um, or are we opening ourselves up to issues having <laughs> a policy that is a blanket yeah I think that um, we can make a distinction for boards and committees, mm -hmm. um, but I think that otherwise we have to treat everybody else the same that's okay. renting it. That would uh, make sense, yeah. I'm not seeing where it says the, the, uh, the fee. The fee? No, it's just the fee. <coughs> the fee, I couldn't find it on there. I think the fee is on the um, actual. Mm -hmm. I didn't see 25 anymore. Oh, here it is. Hmm? Oh man, I didn't see, I didn't see that one. That's a piece. So of I, I guess one one of the option is we could, okay. um, you know, the policy is off the website currently. Is that correct? Yes. And we don't currently have somebody asking because the people who are asking found accommodation at the library. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So we could also just let everyone think on this for another week and bring it up again next week and decide how we want to move forward. It doesn't sound like everyone's really hundred percent sure how we want to move forward. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I don't believe we should let them use between the owl and all that. I don't believe they should be able to use our technology, you know, use this technology. I think prior to renting the room out, and again, this is only my thoughts on it, we, we need to just come up with some place to secure the owl, right? Because that's a relatively expensive piece of equipment yep. to show up missing to get right if crystal knocks it off the table today we're covered right mm -hmm. we we have insurance that will whatever needs to be done if somebody using this room is maneuvering around tables whatever knocks that off yep. you know so again i don't think any of it's a big deal i think we just have to prior to putting it back on the website we have to come up with are we just covering the screens are we moving them out of the room are we taking the owl putting it down in the select board jeff's office whatever mm -hmm. are we just gonna get a little 
box or something, you know, we can set over it and just leave it on the cap. I don't, because if it's sitting there, someone's going to try to hook up to it. Yeah. I mean, it, I think, potentially. I think based on my understanding of how often the room is rented right. out, so infrequent. We'll just move everything out and move it back in. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, it's that, not that, like you're doing it. I don't think it makes sense. Two, three times a week. To, yeah. Right. Cover it or lock yeah. it in. Okay. And I'm absolutely fine with that, you know, as long as we have a, okay, you know, some type of plan. So we could, we could make the insurance mandatory, which I think is a good idea just in general. I don't, you know, if, if someone's using a, a room in our building, they should be insured. Um, up the fee to 50, up the deposit to 250, otherwise leave it the way it is. Does that sound agreeable to everybody? Fine. I'm on board with that, yeah. Okay. I will entertain a motion to make those changes. All right, a motion that we up the room rental fee to $50 for this room. And then, you know, because I, I think we want to keep it confined to just this space, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. The, we increase the deposit to $250 that no equipment is part of the rental or negotiable for part of the rental and and changing board of selectmen to select board we'll change board of selectmen <laughs> yes. to select board and requiring insurance and we're going to require insurance proof of insurance for the room rental yeah great do we have a second second all right motion made and seconded all those in favor aye aye three nothing thank you wonderful all right, next up is select board updates. My only update is I've had COVID for the last week. It's been horrible. Don't get COVID. I highly, highly do not suggest it. Um, be careful out there. There's been a lot of people having COVID. It's, you know, it's that time of year. It's UMass students are back. Um, so nobody wants to experience what we went through last week. Uh, but that's it for me. I haven't really done anything for the last week other than that. So that's it. Crystal? Had a South County EMS meeting. Um, have put together the working group for hiring, you know, for reviewing the applications. That's about it. I've got nothing this week. Alrighty. Town Administrator updates. Yeah. So, um, the first thing, and this wasn't ready um, when we posted the agenda, but um, I am ready to make a recommendation to um, appoint the permit coordinator. Um, we've checked everything. I don't know if you want to do that tonight. She's available if you want to meet her. Um, or we can do it next week and put it on the agenda. Um, I don't know. I would prefer to do it quickly and yeah. get her yeah, working, but say, yeah, if that makes you happy. Uh, makes thank sense. you. I'm happy. Sense. So yeah. um, I would like to recommend Didi, and I'm sorry, Didi, Debrin I hope that's close. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, Didi, we, we interviewed her. Um, she's been doing municipal work. She has experience um, doing specifically um, permitting work and with the permit like software that we use. So um, I have no hesitation to um, recommend Didi. For the position. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you for joining us, Didi. Uh, does the board have any uh, questions? Can you guys see me okay? Yes, yeah. we can. Yeah. Yes, we can. Okay. All right. I'm having trouble with my screen, so I'm just <laughs> checking. What are we looking at for a start date? Okay. Um, as soon as she's, uh, you make the appointment, I would send out the offer letter, and as soon as we get it back, um, so probably next week okay i mean i trust your judgment and yeah. if you say this is the candidate then this is the candidate so <laughs> <laughs> crystal do you have any questions no nope, i'm all set i'm yeah, good i'm questions? good okay um at this time i would entertain a motion to appoint dd as the permit coordinator i so. motion we appoint appoint dd dimbrisi as the permit coordinator second all right, motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. 
Congratulations and welcome aboard. Welcome to Sloan. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Um, all right, you'll, you'll be hearing from me later, probably tomorrow, Dee Dee. Send letters and stuff. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Have a good one. Um, Thank you, you too. Yeah. Just two or three quick things. One, um, the Sunderland Volunteer Firefighters Association is going to be doing a um, fill the boot drive event on October 8th. Um, the second is we are moving forward with our application for the complete streets um, around uh, the elementary school um, at, at Bia Culpa. I, I presented it. I forgot to ask the principal, but he's all for it, so <laughs> it's okay. Well, that's good. Um, I was pretty sure he'd be okay with it, but um, yeah, I, I spoke with him today. Um, was very excited to hear that the sidewalks and pathway um, hopefully will get changed and um, or will get improved. So I'm working on getting an engineer to provide the cost estimates and material estimates. Once I have that, we'll we'll ship it off by next Monday when it's due. Um, so it's due Monday. Okay. I'll yeah. Yeah. The second. So you probably will not get it. I'll send everything out via email, but you will not have another meeting before it's due. So. Um, and then the last thing is our restrooms are open. <laughs> uh, they, they passed inspection this morning. Um, the uh, architects were satisfied with the work that was done. So um, we're just making copies of keys. We're getting... Um, paper accessories for the restroom to fill that, and then hopefully uh, it'll be open um, very soon. So what are the hours they're gonna, are, are they gonna be open like for people who are out walking around the not the river walk? Um, not or? currently unless there is an event happening. So it's only like during or, events? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. And who currently is in charge of those? Does that fall under Jim? Does that fall under you? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in the past, uh, Cindy, feel free to jump in if I'm getting this wrong. It was the uh, Sunderland Youth Baseball, and I believe, I believe it was Sunderland Youth Baseball that would buy the supplies and do the cleaning in the spring, and then Breck that would do it in the fall during mm -hmm. soccer season. Um, we did talk to our the people that clean this building, and for. I think it's a hundred bucks a month or a hundred bucks a week. They're gonna do, um, I think it's a hundred bucks a month. They'll do the restrooms too. So we figured that that's a pretty good deal. Um, and then we don't have to worry about, hey, you didn't do it or we thought it was you. <laughs> and no, so we'll have at least somebody cleaning it once a week. Okay, and look like Cindy's okay. got her hand up. It's 195 a month. Okay, thank you. Okay. And that's with weekly cleaning. So for once a week, it's roughly $50 to clean those bathrooms? Yeah, clean every stop. And, and they'll be doing it most likely when they're here for another day. They come to the library every day except Thursday and Sunday. So we're hoping that we can work a schedule out to make it amenable to be cleaned either before or right after its heavy usage. Um, but we haven't figured that out yet, right, Jeff? Yeah. We haven't talked to them about that. So, are they pay? They pay for or cleaned and restocked. That means they cover the supplies. No, we cover the supplies. They cover all the cleaning materials. But we and just like in our building and all the buildings, we all pay for our own supplies, paper towels, toilet paper, um, and they provide everything else. So they'll also probably come really early in the morning. Um, they probably won't come late in the evening because the library, I think they come early in the morning. I usually see them when I'm pulling in. Okay. And then it'll end, then it'll end what, the end of October or something? Yeah. I think Jim said it's about it's five month. more weeks. Yeah. And the other comment is um, we have trouble with cleaning contractors because of our size. We have a lot of needs and different, different types of needs, days of the week when they can come, working after hours and that sort of thing. We've been with this company for quite a while 
and we've been really happy with their service and all of our buildings. So they were our first go-to. Yeah. And I think we'd have a hard time finding another company just to come in and clean the bathrooms once a week in the fields. Yeah. Do people who walk around Riverside use the bathrooms here now? Yeah. When it's open, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So that would be I'm probably a lot less in December, I'd, I'd bet, in December, January, February. Oh, I don't think we're going to, I think we're not going to pay for cleaning. Yeah, it's only, when it's, so, yeah. But, but in those three months, people could come here if they, yeah. they okay. need to or want to, yeah. Or, so or like they're probably five months, six months a year, yeah. seven months a year, something like that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And is that money that is going to be able to be absorbed by the, the town budget, or is that something we're going to have to figure out? I mean, if we're doing one month now and then three, three or four months in the spring, yes, we can we can absorb that. Um, but we will be budgeting both for the supplies and cleaning in fiscal twenty five. Okay. Do you have any other questions, Crystal? No. Yeah. Okay. Did you need us to do anything on that, or just that was informational? Nope. Just wanted to let you know. Uh, gender neutral, handicap accessible <laughs> restrooms open in the park. Very good. Beautiful. Is that all from you? That's it. All right. Anything else from the board before we call it a day? All right. At this time, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. A motion we adjourn. Second. All right. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three, nothing. It is 704. Thank you very much.